Hey guys, thanks for stopping in Old Smoke and Steve's today. We got a good one for you today. We're gonna be smoking up a brisket. Nope, almost a brisket. Chuck roast. We're gonna be smoking up a chuck roast. And it's just as good as brisket, if not better. It's cheaper. Uh, and you don't have to buy a big old hunk of meat. So uh, uh, I, we'd like to smoke up a, a chuck roast and uh, do it just like a brisket and it's just as good. And uh, we're gonna be smoking it up with some Bear Mountain bourbon barbecue pellets. And uh, it's a, a new barbecue, uh, a bourbon barbecue blend that they uh, just came out with here recently. And I've been using it on steaks and uh, burgers and uh, uh, poultry and uh, we're gonna do it with this chuck roast slash brisket so uh, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna get it all prepped up and uh, give you a look at the uh, chuck roast uh, before we prep it okay here's that chuck roast it says it's a bonus California chuck roast about 2.96 pounds total price 11.81 so guys, this is a lot smaller than a brisket that you could find and a whole lot cheaper. Uh, showing at uh, $3.99 a pound. It's just the uh, wife and I, so uh, we don't need a big old brisket to cook up. Uh, so we like to do these chuck roasts and they're just as good as brisket, if not better. So I'm gonna get this guy unpackaged here and get him all seasoned up and show you what we're gonna do. All right, guys, we're going to get started by spraying him down with some uh, extra virgin olive oil. And I got this little sprayer here that I really like. And uh, I'll have a link underneath my video if you want to check this out and pick one up. Works out pretty good. The sprayer down. Both sides. And what we're going to do is go in with a little kosher salt. Now, a lot of people think uh, this kosher salt is going to leave everything real salty, but that's not the case. This more or less tends to break the fibers down in the meat and enhances the flavor of the meat. So we're going to put a little bit of that kosher salt on both sides. That's going to do it for the kosher salt. And uh, next we're coming in with the uh, Montreal steak seasoning. And I just love this stuff. I, if you watched uh, some of my other videos, I'm using this a lot. I'm using it a whole lot. It gives this meat a great flavor. And what I like to do is follow that uh, Montreal steak seasoning up with some... Uh, Traeger coffee rub. It's a great combination. Okay, you want to do that to uh, both sides. We already got our salt on there, so we're coming in with the Montreal steak seasoning. You don't have to load it up real heavy, but uh, give it a pretty generous coat. And again, the coffee rub on top. And what we're gonna do is uh, wrap this up, let it set in the fridge overnight, and we're gonna put this on the smoker in the morning and let it smoke. So uh, I'm gonna get her all wrapped up and get her in the fridge and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Hey everybody, it's the next morning and uh, I got that uh, uh, chuck roast pulled out of the fridge and uh, we're going to show you what that looks like before we take it out, but uh, we're ready to let that smoke roll. We're ready to smoke that uh, chuck roast up and uh, it's going to turn out like a brisket. I'm loving it. So uh, let me show you what this thing looks like. All right, here it is. Just pull it out of the fridge. 
and it's really smelling good and it's looking pretty good too. So we're going to go out and get that uh, Rectech bullseye fired up and get her up to temp and uh, get this guy put on the smoker. Okay, we're outside here. We got the uh, Rectech bullseye and uh, sitting right over here is the Rectech 700 bull. I love both of these grills uh, and this bullseye is uh, really a workhorse. But anyway, uh, let's get this thing fired up. It's pretty simple. Uh, just power on. And the previous cook, I had a temperature set at 400. So we're gonna lower that to 225 to smoke. Then we can go over here and hit the temperature display. That shows the actual temperature of 61 degrees on the grill. So we're gonna let this thing get heated up and then we'll be putting that chuck roast on. And here are the pellets we're using today. Uh, Bear Mountain Bourbon Barbecue Blend. This is really good stuff, guys. I really love it. So let's let this thing get heated up and uh, we'll get to smoking here in a minute. Okay, the temperature's up to 225 now and it's only been about 15 minutes. And uh, we got our chuck roast sitting here ready to go in. Got a couple drip pans sitting inside here to catch some of the juices. So let's go ahead and get this thing loaded in. Okay, let's go ahead and get this beef probe in here so we can uh, monitor their temperature. Stick it in about the uh, halfway into the meat and down here on the controller we can go down here and set the uh, temperature display to uh, meat okay and it's showing the meat temperature being at the uh, yeah, it's counting down 58 degrees right now so 57 so we're just gonna let this thing smoke and uh, sit back and relax Okay guys, well I've been hard at out there at the smoker, watching that smoke roll. The wife's been in here working away. Uh, she sliced up uh, some potatoes and uh, put on some avocado oil, drizzled some of that on there. Uh, about three tablespoons of butter, some uh, onion soup, and a little bit of pepper. And uh, we're just going to Kind of close this flow up, but uh, leave it open on the top and let some smoke get in there. And uh, we're going to go throw this on the grill now. Okay, guys, let's just hit 203. It's been about eight and a half hours, so uh, we're going to open her up and uh, see what she looks like. Okay, it's been a long one, about eight and a half hours uh, this chuck roast has been on there smoking. So uh, we're really getting hungry around here. Uh, it's one thing about uh, chuck roast, uh, smoking a big piece of meat like this, uh, be it a brisket or a chuck roast or whatever. Uh, it's hard to tell exactly how long it's gonna take because there is a stall period and uh, you never know how long that's gonna take. So. Uh, I got it inside here and uh, we're going to cut into it, see what it looks like, and give it a taste test. Here's what she looks like, guys, before I cut into it. It's really looking good. Nice little bark on there. It's really looking juicy. We're going to find out here in a minute. Okay, we're going to slice into it. We're going to take her right down the middle here. See what she looks like. Oh yeah. 
Look at that. That's looking good. It's nice and juicy. Nice smoke ring. Let's cut us off a little slice. About pencil width. It's falling apart. Looking good, looking good. Let's cut us another little piece. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Still pretty hot. See how juicy that is? Pulls right apart. I'm liking it. Here's what she looks like all sliced up, guys. It's really looking good. Nice little smoke ring. Nice and juicy. Okay, here's the part I love. Eight and a half hours of smoking. And we're going in. I can't wait. Holy moly. This stuff is good. Guys, these chuck roasts are just like brisket. Uh, you don't have to buy a big old hunk of meat. Uh, and this is plenty to eat right here, uh, especially for just two of us. I mean, we're gonna have plenty of leftovers, so uh, it's all good. That uh, bourbon barbecue blend, uh, Bear Mountain Pellets gives it a, a real good flavor. And that Montreal steak, steak seasoning, along with the coffee rub, it doesn't get much better. Give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you on the next one.